Yo, what up? This is your boy Connor. And I'm gonna make this video because I was watching a YouTube video about somebody ranting. Um, it was a random video and I was really inspired by it because it was honestly this girl just talking about life and it was like 45 minutes long, no edits. Hope this works by the way. And she was just speaking straight like truth from the heart and it wasn't fake YouTube, Instagram that we are always used to seeing. So I'm just like, dude, I want to do that. I just want to sit in front of the camera and talk every once in a while. Obviously, I like making videos that are, you know, about travel or stuff that I enjoy. But I enjoy this just as much. I mean, this is like a conversation I would have with my friends. And since I'm not with you guys in person all the time, I think it's cool to be able to do this every once in a while. So yeah, this is my studio. It's, I say it's a studio, but you know what this is? It's a thing I, it's a sheet that I bought at Walmart for $3. And it's the same color as a green screen. So that's just a little trick. If you want to have a green screen and not pay $80, hope this is like the right level. Yeah, it sounds all right, right? If you don't want to pay a lot of money, then just go to Walmart and make it, make it work. There's always a way to do something. So yeah, I'm just going to rant off of things that I started thinking about. If you want to get something done, you don't have enough money, or you don't know the right people, or whatever excuse you want to give yourself, there's always a way. $3 at Walmart. Green screen. I looked it up online. It was like 100 bucks for a real one. But I made it work. There's thumbtacks up there. And yeah, you can always make stuff work. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Nothing really in particular, other than the fact that... Uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing. I can end the video here, really. Nah, but in the future, when I think about things, I'll just talk about them. Um... I would like to use YouTube and social media for something that actually has purpose instead of look at me in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody knows that's how social media is. I mean, even, you know, if you're a professional athlete, anything that's like in the limelight, it always seems like, look at me, like I scored a touchdown or like, look at me, I won the Oscar. Look at me, I, I don't know, I'm in a bathing suit in Bali. And like, what value does that actually give to anybody other than, I don't know, I guess it can inspire you. Oh, I want to do that too. But I feel that social media and just like YouTube and Instagram and pro sports and making movies and stuff should always have a message that's beyond just the thing that it's showing. You know, if there's no inherent value behind what's being shown or the picture that you post or the video that you make, if there's no inherent value behind it, then it's essentially just a waste of everyone's time, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah. It's really interesting that... Hmm. I don't want to make this video too ranty. Because I'm literally thinking on camera about what I'm going to say and saying it. I'd love to hear about what you guys would want to hear about. But no, I'm just going to talk about what I want to hear about. I mean, what I want to talk about um, in the best way possible. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah, this is my first rant video. You'll see them. I don't even want to promise when you're going to see them. Whenever I feel like it, I'm going to post one. I made some of the travel vlogs, uh, which aren't really travel vlogs. Like when I post videos about me traveling, it's not like, yo, like I'm in a cool spot such as the India videos you guys have just seen, it's more about like, this is the experience I had. I don't usually go to a place and say, this is what I want to shoot. Actually, I never do that. I never say, I'm going to India and I really want to shoot, you know, the Taj Mahal from this angle. I really want to go here. Not really. I just land. I get in a cab. I go sleep somewhere. Wake up the next morning, you know, get in a cab with, a different driver, and he takes me around. And he says, hey, you want to go here? I say, sure. He says, hey, you want to you go to my hometown? I say, sure. He, he says, hey, you want to go, go to my house for dinner? I say, yes, I do. Because that's how you make a real, it's like real life. You know, real life happens, and then I just happen to have a camera because having a camera is something that I have a passion for, which is film and, you know, it's not really YouTube isn't a passion of mine. It's having a camera. I've, I've been doing that since YouTube was even created before YouTube was created. So YouTube is a way for me to get that out. You know, same with Instagram, you get to take some photos, but 
it's not even about all those things. It's like these experiences are really happening in real life and I'm just experiencing and filming my real experience and I don't really have an agenda at all, you know? You know, I'm not like a travel vlogger who says, let's go to Santorini and get some epic shots by the pool. You know what I mean? To me, that's not fun. So I don't really do that because I'm doing what I enjoy. This is another topic I wanted to talk about. In life, when you uh, you see people doing what they do, and a lot of times I see people online getting upset at what other people are doing, you know, whether it's a big example like the Kardashians, like, why are they doing this? They should be ashamed of themselves or like, I don't know. Like, why would anybody look at that? Um, or a YouTuber, everybody gets really mad if somebody does something wrong. I don't know if I'm explaining this well, but I basically want to say when people do things that you don't agree with, that's them. You don't have to even listen or look at their stuff if it's, if they're not like committing crimes you know what i mean like taking people's freedom or murdering people or you know depriving people from having education and food then they can do whatever they want to do the kardashians can do whatever they want to do a youtuber who has an opinion about something can do whatever he wants to do you don't have to listen to him at all just like me you can turn me off it doesn't matter that's the beauty of life. I don't know if I got loud, but that's the beauty of life. And when people are having different experiences in life, people comment sometimes like, how do you get to do that? That's not fair. Like, I mean, what somebody else gets to do isn't taking away from what you have the opportunity to do. You know what I'm saying? Like you're in your current situation, whether the person you watch or know about exists or not. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, the person that is saying, I'm doing all this fun stuff or I'm doing anything for that matter, you know, they might write a poem that you don't like or post a picture that you don't like or date someone that you don't like. Like that's all happening outside of your own personal existence. Like I'm going to be existing regardless of if these people are doing these things. So they're not taking away from what I have control over, which is like my brain and my body. And I could choose to do what I believe is right. And that's how you make a difference in the world. You don't make a difference in the world by looking at other people and condemning them. You look at what you can do. You see what situation you're currently in, which is like the state of the world and like how your family is and your relationships and all that. Like that's your life. And then you change and act upon what you can do in your life. I think that's the main rant I wanted to get out today. I was thinking right before I posted this or like five minutes ago, what would be a good thing to talk about? And it's good that I could just talk and not really have to edit. But that's the main point is like my life isn't really affecting your life. I would love to bring positivity into your life. You know what I mean? But if I'm doing something that upsets you, that you don't like, like why is this white kid from USA speaking on YouTube? Like you don't, it doesn't affect you at all. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't affect you at all. Turn it off. Go read a book that you like. Go speak to someone that like can bring value to you. Do you know what I mean? Because anger and negativity, for the people that have it, it tears them down too. If I was going to be angry at some dude over here, why the F are you posting all these photos about you online? Like That anger about, and like me even looking at his posts or her posts is just going to tear my own life down. So I choose, even on Instagram and stuff like that, I delete all the crap that I don't need. I unfollow all the crap that I don't need. If it shows up on my feed, I don't want to see it. I freaking flag that junk and it doesn't come up anymore. It's like I got rid of my TV the other day. I don't operate on anything other than YouTube and Netflix. So I, I can turn the TV on and all it is is YouTube and Netflix. So I type in exactly what I want to watch. I have a Kindle. I read whatever books I want to read. I don't read what anybody else tells me to read. You know what I mean? So there's a bunch of offensive books out there that even you don't even know. There's people in this world that if you met, you'd probably pull all of your hair out. You know what I mean? And like I said before, if those people aren't committing any like acts against humanity that you need to take action on, just make it clear. I just want to make it clear. Like there's 7 billion people in the world. You can't agree with everybody and you shouldn't even ask for everybody's opinion 
on what you're doing and want their approval anyways. You should want their approval of the people that you actually love, like the ones that are like your ride or die people. You know, you might only have like three or four. I've always heard this saying, like if you can count the people that you love on your, your hand, one hand, like you're blessed. If you have like one good friend that can like be there for you regardless. If you got two, dang, three, dang, four, dang, five, dang. I have a lot more videos to edit. A lot of uh, travel that happened like in the past few months, six months actually, and I'm getting all that stuff out now. I'm going to get it out because I want to get it out. I'm not going to get it out because somebody in the comments says like, bro, I'm going to do it because it's my passion. And I enjoy that you guys share that with me. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next video. And also this, my videos and my posts on social media represent 1% of my life. 1%. You watch a video that's 10 minutes long. It might contain clips that happen like over the span of a couple hours. But it's 10 minutes out of my whole life, out of my whole day. And I don't get to share things on a personal level. So like now you'll get to know me a little bit more, but you still, unless you actually know me and have deep conversations with me, you're not going to know who I really am. So yeah, you got to figure out who you are first. And that's the most important thing. Figure out who you are and who you want to be and who you want to surround yourself with, what books you want to read, what you want to do with your life. And then you bring all the people into your life and this, and the influences around you that like will make you the person that you want to be. So all the negative things, if you want to be a singer and there's a bunch of people around you that say you suck at singing and you'll never make it, I would suggest you get them out of your life. You know, you need, you need people to criticize you constructively and say, hey, you want to be a singer? I think you can work on this. Your vocals here can improve. But to people that are just straight negative, like, nah, you can't do it. They're wrong, number one, because you actually can do it if you get the right training, if you get the right people around you, if you read the right books. I've read too many stories about people that have been successful that denied all of those people that said that they can't do it, sought true advice, and made it. I've read too many stories like that to believe that you can't do something. I think everybody has it within them, especially if they have a passion for it, to do that thing. But most people don't attempt or go far enough because they've been torn down. They've been torn down and, and they've been torn down by what they saw online, what they read, what somebody told them, what someone posted about them. And that's a bunch of sh to be honest. It really is. Forgive me for saying that online, whatever. I like to keep myself clean, but it really is a bunch of baloney. All that fake, false negativity. Like you can always make it. If I really suck at math, but I want to be an accountant at the biggest firm on Wall Street, it's not my dream at all, but it could be. But I can have the skills because there's people in this world that know exactly what I need to know. I just need to seek them out and say, hey, will you help me out? And that person, my friend that says, you can't do it because you suck at math. I literally say this to them. Okay, get out of here. I don't need you around because what I'm trying to do you're not in line with that. And this is the thing, the true friends will always be in line with what you're trying to do because they'll be able to be straight up with you, honest with you, and help you get there. They're not the ones that say, flat out, you can't do it. That's just an uneducated opinion. An educated opinion would be, would be to say, you can't do it right now because you have these things and this is how you get out of it. And they'll have things to back up their opinion because people who just speak and have nothing to add it's just hot air i always love conversations with people that tell me what i should do or what they think i should do better i'm listening even in the comments like people say people literally say crap and they got nothing to back it up with they say i'm not even going to repeat it because it's not even worth going through my brain again but they say you can't do this because of this or get the get the f out of here give me a reason why that makes sense and i might be able to listen to you I'd love to listen to people who have intelligent conversation or basically intelligent opinion that makes sense. Like, you shouldn't do this because this is the history of the country. You doing this triggers this feeling because like, I don't know. It's not, you have to come up with a reason why because then that's an intelligent conversation. If I didn't disagree with somebody, I'd say, hey man, I disagree with you on this topic 
And this is the reason why. And I'll give them something to think about and ponder other than just like, F you. All that does is make people pissed off. Anyways, I'm ranting too long. Uh, I'm going to post this video, 16 minutes long. And there'll be more. There'll be more. More travel videos, more straight up, straight up posts. Because uh, I also believe this. My life is one human being. All I can do is what one human being can do. I can't save the world. I can't, uh, you know, feed every human being, pay for every human being's needs. Oh, excuse me. All I can do is take care of my own first so I can continue to live. You know, I have to get my own oxygen and my own food, pay for my own rent. Because if I don't do that, I can't help anybody else. So, like, as a human being, being selfish, that word is, like, tossed around. I mean, it can be implied to your own self. Like, I have to get air in my own lungs before I can, like, give air to somebody else. Because I don't have air in my own lungs, I'm dead. So, take care of your own needs first and foremost. And then once you're, like, comfortable with who you are and, like, solid in the brain, then you can help other people. Say, yo, let me help you out. I got some extra cash here. You know, I already bought my food for the month. You need some help? Boom. Um, I could talk longer and all those things. I forgot where I was going with that. But that's why I like this video. Because it's unedited. And I don't care. And I'm a human being. And so are you. And yeah, all I can do is what I can do as one human being. All you can do is what you can do as one human being. Back to the point, I just got it back in my head. Is like, YouTube. If I can like speak some truth into somebody that like triggers something that's good because I have friends where I call them up when I'm when I'm down a little bit like dang man can't do it bro that's my own thoughts when you're negative and then there's that one friend that can give you a word of encouragement where you're just like dang I see it differently now I can do it just because of one thing like I saw somebody's snapchat story my brother uh is my buddy uh his name's Jamie he was literally punching a punching bag and being super stoked on that. And before I watched that video, I was I was a little bit down about what I had to do. I was like, man, I don't know. I got a lot to do in a short amount of time. And then I saw him punching this punching bag. And it was the funniest thing. And I got energy from it. There, that's true, man. Like, We can put out energy into the world by our words and our thoughts and our actions. And I believe that thoughts are the most powerful thing in the world. Money's not. You know? Clothes. Like, what is that? These are inanimate objects. People place value in inanimate objects like money and cars and clothes, which makes this, paints this picture of who you are and like you're famous to society, which is essentially nothing. Like being famous is a bunch of, the definition of being famous is like being well known by a lot of people. But those people don't even know who you are. Really, they know your name. They might see your face, you know, back to the Kardashians. Kim Kardashian, famous. Do I know who she is? Never talked to her once. Do you know who she is? Probably never talked to her once. Her friends? A few people know who she is. But like being famous, like it's all vapor. Doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. Like being well known to a few people that you love, that's what really matters. Oh man. I can go so much deeper. I'd love to go deeper. But that's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you next video. It'll probably be a travel video. I'm about to be leaving India in my videos, going to Nepal. And then from there, it'll be Bali, Vietnam. And then I'm going to be in China actually soon. So you'll see that. And then Germany. But hey, live your own life. Enjoy your own life. And uh, figure out who you are before you start trying to be somebody that the world tells you you should be. Last rant. The world tells you you should be this person based on like movies you see, music you listen to, books you read, YouTube videos that you watch. Like you are essentially a collection of all the thoughts that have ever been put into your brain. And some of them have been put by other things like movies and stuff. And people like me, I'm talking to you. If I'm not talking what you think is right, then turn me off straight up. Turn that movie off straight up. Turn that music off straight up if it's not in line with what you know you should be. Inside you know. So like really guard your thoughts because your thoughts become who you are. There's no other way around it. Like all the thoughts that have come into your brain is who you are right now. You're a collection of all those things. 
Obviously, if you become strong in the mind, you can stop those thoughts and say you're not coming in and throw them out, but that takes a lot of practice. You know what I mean? It does take a lot of practice. I can tell you from experience, but really guard your mind. It, it, it's a lot easier to have a thought never even try to enter your brain than to protect it from one. So if I watch a movie that's putting in thoughts, it's harder for me to be like, dang it, I don't want to think that, than to just be like, I'm not going to watch the movie. Ding! Makes a lot of sense. Just don't watch the movie. Just don't listen to that person talking if they're talking some bull crap. Real talk. Be careful because you only got one life. And you're going to die soon. I love to tell people this. I tell myself this all the time. You're going to be dead soon. That's the reality of life. And a lot of people like to ignore it. They think, I'm going to live forever. I'm 15. I'm 25. I'm 35. I'm 45. I'm 85. Holy crap. I'm about to die. So figure it out. Like Find the truth of why you're living this life. And make sure you find it as early as possible because you're going to be old one day and be like, why the frick did I listen to what the world put in me? I should have listened to like my inner feeling. Tried out for this team. Asked this girl out. I should have read that book instead of the other one my friends all said was good. Little examples like that. Like be true to who you are. And like when you're confident enough to go for yourself, then everybody will be asking you for advice. How'd you get that mindset? Like how are you like you are? I don't give a F what anybody else says. I do what I know is true. So what I'm telling you, find the truth of why you're living and figure out what you're going to do until you die. And just be very conscious of the fact that you will die. So hopefully that fact gives you more confidence to like try new things. Hey, I'm going to die anyways. Might as well try out for the play. Do you know what I mean? Like that thought gives me a lot of power these days. It's like, The worst that can happen is I'm embarrassed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Figure out what the worst that can happen. If the worst case scenario involves you not dying, you probably should do it. You know, if you're like, hey, I'm going to bungee jump with just holding on to the rope and not tie myself in. Like if the, if the worst thing that can happen is like, you're going to die, maybe reconsider. But if the worst that can happen is you looking embarrassed in front of somebody or like nobody watching a YouTube video or like you get less likes on Instagram, or somebody says, no, I don't want to date you, but you're still alive, Like I would always say, take that risk. If it's on your heart to do it, you know? Don't just take every risk. Risk. Take the ones that are on your heart to do. Like, oh man, I've always wanted to do that. 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 To do it, if you're not going to die. I've always wanted to try for the football team, but I might be embarrassed. Shut the F up. Real quick, please. Just shut up and do it. I've always wanted to ask this girl out. Then go online. Google, what should I say? Something. And then just do it. Ask your friend. Ask your dad. Just do it. Ask the girl out. Because when you ask her out, she might say yes. But if you don't ask her out, it's always a no. And if she says no, when you ask her out, you just learn something. You always learn something. That's the crazy thing about life that people need to figure out. You learn when you do things. And the more things you do that don't kill you, the more you learn. So do it as much as possible, as soon as possible. Because if you do it like from when you're zero to 25, 30, then like you've learned so much. But if you're one of those persons who never takes risks, you're going to get to be 30, 35, 40. You're going to have a job you don't want. And you're like, dang, man, like what if I just would have tried this? Do it now. I mean, who cares? If you're 30 now or 40 or 50 watching my videos, same thing applies. Do it now. Don't wait until you're like 70 or 80. Like try as much as possible. I've always wanted to paint a picture. Start painting like tomorrow. Do it tomorrow. I've always wanted to cook something. Let me tell you. Go to the grocery store. They have these in most places around the world. Even local markets. I've been to places that don't have grocery stores. They have local markets. You can go there. Okay. With your own feet. You can actually get out of your house and get off of a TV screen. You can actually get some money in your pocket and not spend it on a video game or a Starbucks coffee or some other thing that sucks your money away and you could spend it on like food and then you can look up a recipe online, crazy, internet, and try to make it. Same thing goes if you always wanted to sing a song. You can go online right now and figure out 
a melody. You can go online right now and create your own melody. You can go online right now and create a YouTube channel that you've always wanted to create. It's free. Literally free. YouTube is free. You can do it right now. Oh, there's always been that one person I've wanted to apologize for. Guess what? You probably have a phone or, like I said, worst case scenario, always think about it. The worst case scenario, you get on your own two feet or your bicycle, you ride to their house, knock on their door and say, hey, I've always wanted to apologize to you. Or, hey, I've always wanted to ask you out. And then freaking see what happens. Just do it, bro. That's it. That's all I got to say. Just do it. As soon as possible. And you do it like with the right mindset, with a, you know, like being a good person. It's a whole nother topic. It's like, I want to be as good a person as possible. I don't want to be someone who like pisses people off or like puts bad energy, negative negativity into the world. But I don't want to be fake either, you know. If I'm feeling a certain way, I'll, I'll feel a certain way. Um, but I, I want to be somebody who's like helping people out instead of tearing them down, you know. So maybe if you've always wanted to go tell somebody to F themselves, you might want to think twice about doing that, you know. Is the end result them killing you? Like, are you dying? Maybe not doing that. I, I don't mean to like stray from the topic. But yeah, anyways, uh, try to always put positivity in the world because there's, there's also this thing called forgiveness that is actually more liberating for you than the other person, you know, you forgive them. Hey, I forgive you for what you did wrong. It's almost like the weight is taken off the the forgiver more than even the one you forgive. Because if you're holding on to this angst inside, like that person did this to me 25 years ago, go tell them like you forgive them now because then you'll be free and just live as free as possible Live in like harmony with as many people as possible. And if there are those people that you need to tell to like F off or stop beating up your little brother or like don't come steal my lunch money anymore, then tell them. Stick up for yourself. Obviously, that's another topic. I don't want to get into that. Uh, If I offended anybody with this video, let me know in the comments. But give a reason why and tell me why. Don't just say F you. I bet you offended me because then I'm not going to read it. It doesn't make sense. Like, okay, thanks for your opinion. That didn't add anything to anybody's life. Hey, you offended me because you said this. And I've had experience with this. And this is the reason why you shouldn't do that anymore. Cool. Maybe I'll consider your opinion if you have something to say that's intelligent. If not, you're not adding anything to anybody. All right. Can you hear me? I hope that you can. 29 minutes in. And I'm posting this video. First time ever. Get stoked for the travel vlogs. No. Get stoked to live your own life. That's what you should get stoked for. Don't live your life through somebody else. If I can add, like, if I if I could be a good addition to your own life, cool. Like, if, if every week you come in and you're like, hey, I want to watch a Connor video because, like, it's inspiring me for something, do that. But, like, only let myself and anybody else you associate yourself with be a small, like, addition to what you're doing, which for like your own vision, your own painting vision, your own like doctor vision, your own like, I want to graduate from college. I want to make music. I want to travel the world. I want to stay home. I want to take care of my family. I have a kid I have to take care of. Like that's your own vision, you know, make YouTube and those things like an, like an addition that is positive. If Connor Sullivan, oh, all right, hope, hopefully that other video got recorded because it said it stopped automatically but yeah basically if if i'm adding a positive like small part to your life then keep me there if somebody on instagram is adding a small part to your life keep me there but if there's like people like me just speaking on youtube and people on instagram just posting random videos and like podcasts that are just randomly there that aren't adding anything to your life they're just like taking up space and wasting your life then delete them right now unsubscribe from me right now if that's what it is. Like, I want to help you out because I did the same thing. I unsubscribe from everybody that's not going to add anything right now. It's no offense to them. You have your own life, like I said. You have your own life. Make sure it's like the central thing without being selfish. I'm not telling you to be selfish. Breathe your own own air first. You know, eat some food. You know, take care of yourself. 
and then add some things that will help you out. <sighs> I can talk longer. Obviously, friends and family is most like really important. But like, if you got what I was trying to say, good. If not, then leave an intelligent con comment. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Bye. Appreciate you guys' support. Bye. That's all I gotta say. What do you have to say? Say it.